Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! Today's episode is brought to you by NordPass, the intuitive password manager. Do you have multiple accounts and you have to remember the passwords for all of them and they all have to be different? Well, sure you do, we all do. NordPass and their NordVPN system is the best way, the highest encryption, the strongest way to remember your passwords and keep them safe. Many people, surprisingly, still use 12345 or QWERTY in their password. Did I just guess your password? I might have, because many, many people have simple passwords that are easy to guess. I think we've all had the worry about getting your password hacked into, and that is something that NordPass will help you with, but think of the time you will save you don't have to tap your head and pat your belly or tap dance and yodel at the same time to the websites to prove that it's you. NordPass will do that for you. Now, NordPass is offering us a exclusive deal. You get the exclusive NordPass deal plus an additional month for free here by going to nordpass.com slash curiosity incorporated or you can use the code curiosity incorporated at the checkout. Secure yourself today. Try NordPass. Hey guys, welcome to uh, today's video. I did something stupid. <laughs> Not that I don't usually do something stupid, but I was in my uh, physiotherapy appointment just now. That's not the stupid part. That's good because I'm getting help for a sore neck. Um, but I had some free time while I was in there and while I was waiting, I ended up bidding on and winning a storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things, I'm, that's what the dangerous thing about having your phone with you and access to internet things. I was like, oh, there's an auction ending today. And I put a bid in and nobody else bid. Um, so I got a pretty big size unit, pretty cheap. It was 110 bucks. I think that's pretty inexpensive. So uh, we're going to go pay for that, check it out. And uh, I don't know, hopefully it'll be worthwhile. So follow along. It should be an interesting video. Uh, let's see what happens when I buy a storage unit when I'm, you know, I got the TENS machine all hooked up and I'm just like bidding on a storage locker. So uh yeah i gotta tell my wife too but that's another story <laughs> let's go check out the storage unit first i have arrived it's super windy so i'm filming this part inside the truck but we just took the lock off i'm gonna go over there and open it i'm probably gonna not be able to hear my voice for a second until i get this thing open but this guy was paying on this for 10 years only to uh let's see. there's probably a trick to this I paid for it just to have it get lost, but that's why I bid on it. It looked really dusty. Use both hands here. I'm gonna crack this open. The thing was on there so tight, I actually had to kind of hammer that over a bit to get this thing open and see what we've lost. Oh, it's a big one. That goes all the way back. But this, truth be told, the reason I bought this unit. Um, was because I saw this. It's an antique uh, drafter's table. And look at the dust on everything. Like nobody's been in here in ages. It's a little scary. Or those woolly shaps. Actually, maybe that's not so scary. If those are Western shaps, that could actually be worth a pile of money. I'm gonna keep that aside. Let's see, what year are these catalogs from that are in here? 1985. So, this stuff might have been in here a lot longer than I think. And look, right off the bat, antique sewing, toy sewing machine. I'm actually uh, feeling kind of confident about this lot already. I'm one box in and look, there's 1920s jigsaw puzzles. 1950s toys. Oh, this might be a good one. Nice old uh, uh, colander, it looks like. Why would somebody pay for a storage unit for... Well, they don't actually know how long he's been in here, but why would somebody pay for a storage unit for potentially 30 years just to let it go? Yeah. I don't get it. 
Um, so now any personal paperwork or effects like that, I'm going to uh, return to these people. Look, there's a little amplifier, guitar amp right there. Well, this might be a dandy. I'm feeling optimistic. I don't usually buy storage units, but I'm feeling optimistic about this one. Look, there's a big box of toys. I see a 1980s Batmobile in there, flipped upside down. Oh, I'm getting excited. <laughs> All right, first things first, I'm going to just literally pull the trash out and get that out of the way first. Um, and then we'll start going through these boxes. Oh, Super Powers toys, Super Friends. Oh, this could be a really good year. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I, I, I don't usually, like I usually think that storage auctions are a bit of a bust, but this might be all right. Maybe not that couch. That's gonna be a problem. Um, but if this isn't all furniture and there's a bunch of collectibles in here, I see tools. Okay. I got my work cut out for me for sure, but I can already see a few treasures right away. So let's start getting the garbage taken out. I'll load it in the back of the truck there. And then at least I can do it one trip to the uh, dump today and get rid of it. Gosh, look at how much dust is on this stuff. What year is this thing from? 1990. Okay. We're climbing a little bit. I just want to get the trash out. That That's sellable, so I'm going to leave that aside for now. I want to get this wire rack out of here. Oh man, look at that. I mean, the dust is terrible, but it's also the reason why I bought this unit and also the reason why it probably went pretty cheap too, so I can't complain too much. Let's see what's in this binder. Spawn cards from the 90s. Looks like the whole set. Put that up there. Whoa! <laughs> Look, there's an Optimus Prime. It's a G1 Optimus Prime. I wonder if the rest of it's in there, like the truck part. Whoa! Oh yeah, 80s toys in my element. GoBot stamps. GoBots for like a Transformer. Yep, there they are. GoBot stamp pad. paperwork and stuff. I'm going to keep going through. I, what I want to do is get to that box of toys over there. <laughs> I shouldn't be as giddy as I am, but it's kind of fun to go through this stuff. I've been loading up all the garbage in the back here. It's a nice antique t t uh, honey tin from Saskatchewan. The rest of this bag I think is empty. Don't really need that. I've only got a couple days to clear this out, so I'm going to have to move fast. Lucky for me, that's my thing, is moving fast. What on earth is this? It looks like this person might have been a property manager at one point. There's a lot of uh, paraphernalia around renting and leasing from uh, shopping malls. What do we got here? More puzzles? Okay. Old puzzles wooden bowl of some sort ice cube tray i just want to get down to the the good stuff so some of this stuff can probably go oh thank heavens that's not a full-size couch i thought this was going to be a big long couch it's just a little armchair <laughs> that could have been terrible uh right. that's actually a nice piece of uh woven art Keep that aside. There's a couple of them. Let's see what we got. Box number two. Box number 500. There's some old magazines and stuff. Wait, I was just about to throw this box out, and there was an old uh, animation cell signed by the artist at the bottom of it. Don't know what that's from. To do a little research. Okay, rolled the chair out of the way just so I could kind of get in here. Even these little cupboards are stashed full of stuff. Paperwork. <sighs> Where do you even start? Oh, look, there's toys. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. You guys can tell what that is already, right? It's the Ghostbusters car. Oh, there's no doors. Maybe the doors are in there. I see Batman, 
Superpowers Batman, the original one from the 80s. Oh, there's all kinds of toys in there. Okay, I'm gonna leave that aside to, to look through. Put, I gotta make a stash of good stuff and bad stuff. That definitely goes in the good stuff pile. Well, this was, uh, I'm already getting my money more than back on this stuff already. This is a good sign already. Instruction manual for, looks like maybe for Optimus Primer. It's just a brochure for Transformers, but that's a good sign. Return of the Jedi. We got a antique box. Elastic bands, part of a comic book. Let's see if there's anything else cool in here. Okay. Get that bit out of here. Gosh, I was not expecting this. There's some kind of deranged looking mascot outfit in here, but it looks like it's in pretty terrible shape. So I'm not even gonna take it out of the package, but mascot uniforms are very, very expensive. It's a shame they let that one go to waste. Drawers out of something. I'm encouraged by the year of a lot of this stuff and the amount of dust, like I said. It's a little Avon. Bottle's all wrapped up so nice. This has been mice in here at some point, but those are old Avon soap bottles or shampoo bottles. They still have the, per actually it might be perfume, still have the stuff inside of it. Whoo, can smell that. Smells like grandma's house. This is a nice antique drawer. Which makes me wonder what it's from. It might be from that uh, big cabinet over there. I don't wanted to get to this, but I'm, you know, when you kind of are sort of excited about something and you want to leave it till later, that's me and this. Oh, look, there's the Ghostbusters pack, cap guns, more cap guns. Oh, that looks familiar. I can't remember what series that's from. Oh, there's mask in here. That was one of my favorite toys as a kid. These convert into like little tanks and stuff. And I knew this from, from a mile away. That's the Batmobile. In the 80s and there's superman oh yeah this is all good retro toys some of this looks really familiar like that'd be funny if it was like my own stuff that somebody bought at a yard sale and stashed in here okay that's a good sized box of toys right there i'm gonna come back to that one because i'm gonna i my goal here is to try and get rid of as much garbage actual garbage as possible so that's the goal give me an update on how far i got so far i've tunneled a little bit in here the reason, again, I bought this was the drafter's desk. Now I'm finding these antique drawers off the old office furniture. And if I look in the back, you see back there, that wood? I think there might be some really nice antique office furniture, maybe some other antique furniture back there. But I have to keep tunneling. This is a bigger job than just for me, though. I will have to come back with uh, my wife. Ooh, look. Looky there. Calligraphy sets. Calligraphy pens. Okay. Actually, some of the calligraphy pens in that I'm sure my kid could use. Look, there's another nice antique office desk drawer. But where's the furniture it goes in? That's what I want to find out. Oh, look, there's a mid-century modern um, chandelier on top of this wicker table, which unfortunately looks like it's seen better days, but still is kind of neat. Let's see paperwork if there was sports cards in here i'd be pretty happy because a lot of this stuff looks like it's from the 80s or 90s oh check this out uh it's a compass it's uh they're not real signatures but 1990 team signed little hockey stick from the edmonton oilers so obviously they were hockey fans so i might just find some cards in here you never know yeah, I've decided to climb on top of the table to get a bird's eye view of what's in here. And the first thing I see is super duper cool. Hey, well, there's this little rack. I don't think it's a gun rack. No, nope. it's a rack of some kind. But look, there's a tiny little pool table. Isn't that fun? It's really nicely made too. Lampshade. Oh, there's an old office desk right there. That might be what some of this stuff is from. I like the amount of variety in here. Like, and there's a lot of toys. There's another box of toys. Oh, look, there's a TIE fighter. 
You see it? I see it. There's a Star Wars box. There's a Star Wars box over there. Great, now I'm gonna lose sleep if I don't finish this off today. I, I'm not gonna be able to get this finished today, but I am definitely gonna lose sleep over what's in here. I better go make a uh, run to the dump and come back because uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna need the space in the truck. Just moved that bag out of the way and I knocked over a bin of toys and look, there's old Hot Wheels. I'm gonna see if I can get over to it. Oh. Real Riders Hot Wheel from the 80s. That bin has, has bit the biscuit, but look, there's Star Wars figures. There's an Ewok. Oh, I'm in heaven with this lot. This is probably one of the better, I, I've only bought actually one other storage unit before, but this is a gooder, this one is right here. Uh, see if I can get this out without it spilling everywhere. Well, I was partly successful. Look, there's Transformers. Well, was it getting back to some older Hot Wheels? as an AFX car. Duke's a hazard. That's a color changing Hot Wheel. That's a Yatming, yeah, rubber tires. Okay. Oh, look, a red line, that's a Sizzler. That's a, so there might actually be some red line Hot Wheels somewhere in here. You never know, another Star Wars figure. There's the Princess Leia. whole bunch of dump down the side here so I'm gonna have to do a little excavating to get all this stuff out again but I am uh, definitely encouraged by what I'm finding so far check this out okay don't know what's in that roll something let's find out maybe it's something maybe it's nothing it's like Star Trek posters Somebody was a Trekkie. Cool. There's an old, a big old antique wooden butter churn right there too. Looks like somebody converted into a lamp at some point. I don't know if that is, maybe a cot. So much in here. This is a very full unit. I, I haven't even gotten through like the first layer of stuff and I, I, yeah, I would have been happy with what I found already. The rain is coming. Ooh. This is what I'm standing on there and there. <coughs> I got to I gotta go take that to the dump and then come back because uh, pretty well filled it already. Let's see if I can get maybe a couple more things out of here before I do. Looks like there's more toys in this box here. If I'm not mistaken, that's Castle Grayskull. Yep, I am not mistaken. Castle Grayskull, and I don't know what the heck that thing is. Eva Tech Inc. No idea what you are, but I do recognize 1980s looking play platforms when I see them. Let me get those out of there. Maybe I'll find some He-Man figures too. It's part of that thing. Yep. More He-Man stuff. This is actually all prime collectibles right now. He-Man and all that is super hot right now. So the more I find, the better. Oh, there's a scary looking dude down there. Suction cup face and hands like this. Almost looks like it's off a car. Don't know what that is. Maybe I'll find the rest of it in here later. Okay, let's see if I can get this box out of the way. These guys had all the cool 80s toys. Yeah. Oh, there's another big guy. Right there. Ooh. Sorry about the grunting, but this stuff is like way down there. And I don't want to step on anything cool. And it's really hard to know what I'm stepping on because it's all over the place. You know, more bits for the Castle Grayskull. There's some Lego down here. Another car.
It's a fun time. It's like re revisiting my childhood in somebody's really messy storage unit. Another box. It's like, how many toys did these kids have? There's Optimus Prime. And there's another back for an Optimus Prime, too. There's another mask car. All kinds of goodies in here. I'm gonna have quite the toy collection after all this. Just did the first load of stuff to the uh, dump. Keeping truckload cost me 30 bucks to dump it. So I added an extra $30. When I look at the size of this bin, there is gonna be some expense um, with the dump fees for sure. There's no way around it. You know, there's gonna be a lot of garbage, but uh, I'm more worried about the 48 hour turnaround time. I've got to tomorrow and Friday to empty that whole thing and it's, uh, it's a big one. I think I'm gonna switch gears now and actually start loading up my truck with the good stuff that I found so far so that uh, tomorrow I can focus on doing garbage runs. Hey, I'm back. I just, I'm gonna try and do one more load of the dump before I start loading up anything cool for the day. I was looking through, trying to figure out what year. That's 1999, we're getting a little bit newer. There's a big She-Ra. And, you know, a human skull. Thankfully not real. Spider, Hunter S. Thompson. Dusty, but collectible. Edward Lear. Courtship of Youngie Bungy Bo. Oh, I'm guessing this is probably a staff for that She-Ra figure. Yeah. I'm going down this side now. Sort of a corner cabinet there. Pert Plus. Don't need that. Okay, you can actually stand here now. Woo! Start dropping stuff. Rain's coming down, but that's okay. There's a nice little cap stove. Brass. Put your little butane fluid on there, or fuel in there. And we've got, I think that stop beef. There's some more toys in here. A lot of these toys I'm just going to kind of leave aside. Oh, there's another Transformer, or GoBot. That's the water pistol GoBot. I'm going to leave a lot of the toys aside for me to sort through later. That's part of my keep pile. What I'm trying to do right now is make more of a, a garbage pile. A rainbow! First I thought this was maybe a blanket or sheets, but it's actually a ship's flag. Crescent, moon, and stars. I don't know if that's Middle East or what, but it's cool. It's linen, so it's got some age to it. And it's got its original ties for going up the flagpole. That's a cool piece. Ship's flag for some reason. Maybe there'll be some more nautical stuff in here as I look. Ooh, drop something there. This box appears to be a lot of like little kid toys and flower pots and things like that. There are some picture frames, maybe from an old hotel front desk. Well, these are old uh, orange crate labels. Glass is broken on that one, but there's a whole bunch of them in here. Souvenir All-Star Game 1982, the Montreal Expos. Cool. And what are these? More orange crate. Cool. Okay, well, separate the good from the bad. Been slowly wiggling my way over to this box that I saw the TIE Fighter in. There it is. Not in the greatest shape, but it's there. More Ghostbusters toys. Looks like Dark Side. All kinds of good 80s toys in this box. Maybe some of them not in the best condition. Transformers. Ghostbusters. Yeah, that's a box full of goodies right there. Put that in the good pile. Continue to dig. We've got this nice little brass horseshoe which says, odd bless our house. I imagine there was a G there at some point. Um, there are some old tins, like this big flower tin and uh, some various sorts of little tins. In a day, 1888, 
Hmm. Some nice old coffee tins and stuff. The world's largest <laughs> light switch covers. What are these sheets? Or is this another flag? Oh, it's another flag. Let's see, what's this one for? It's got an emblem or something on it. Looks like Patronus? Nope. Hmm, maybe it's a, oh, it's got a, a moose on it. Charging moose, maybe a crest of some kind. That's a big one too. I'll set that over there. We'll go through all the, the keeper stuff at the very end and I'll show you all what I think the good stuff was that came out of this unit. Right now I'm just digging. Because they're neat, but have absolutely no practical use. This little antique serving tray. Oh look, stained glass window. More or less intact amongst all these frames and stuff. Oh, those are leaded glass windows there too. You have to be careful moving that pile. It's a good thing I didn't stand over there. Let's see if I can get some of this off as a basketball. The Kevin McHale edition. <laughs> get some of this stuff moved out of the way. Let's see what's underneath. There's bins and boxes everywhere. Yeah, got to the bin underneath. School project. Ooh, it's dusty. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. I should be wearing a respirator. So there was an antique leather jacket in there, like a flight jacket, which is pretty cool. It's like a military style bomber jacket. Does it have anything on the back? That'd be cool if it had like the squadron patches on it and stuff, but it's of that era. And look what we have here. The original Pac-Man. Well, at least there's no batteries in it. This is like the most amount of old toys I've found in a long time. That's shoes. Oh, maybe some Lego at the bottom. Oh, I see a Smurf. And whatever that guy is. I'll have to pull that out and sort it. Once I get it out in the open, maybe. Oh, I remember that. Oh, sec doors. It's like an insect toy. Okay, there might be some more treasures in this box. Oh, look. The sector sector is a uh, kite. Never been used. I guess they weren't curious to see what it looked like in the wind. What's this? Transformer walkie-talkie or radio. Maybe it's a little transistor radio. Mind you, walkie-talkies were a big deal. I don't know what it is. Maybe like a little alarm, 1984. It's neat though. I better check my garbage more carefully. I almost threw out a mint condition. It doesn't look alike, but it's in really good shape. 1927 Eaton's catalog. That's like a $100 catalog right there, especially in that kind of shape. Better make sure I'm not throwing out any other gems. Well, this might fall into the category of the most disturbing thing I found today. It looks like a decapitated bunny, but I think what it was was a Halloween costume. Like Ralphie would have worn on Christmas Story. That somebody's just stuffed full of stuffing. I don't need it. It will haunt someone else's dreams, not mine. Open up the flower bin. And there's a set of three, three sizes old lard tins. Gainer's lard. It's this old coffee tin. Kind of a nice one too. Highland brand coffee. Nice little set. It's an old crib. Unfortunately, they're not really something you could sell because your baby head could get stuck in them. But it looks like there's a newel post off of an old railing there. It's just hanging out. There's a bag of old clothes and I thought, you know what, I should go through this and see if there's anything kind of cool in there. One of the first things I pulled out, 1992 Genesis Tour concert shirt. So, yeah, I'll be going through that. Ten Lego base plates, including the moon base plate. Another box full of toys here. Let's see. Got a giant foot, part of, probably part of that mascot costume. Ew. Dusty grossness. Some 
survival books rich and scary hungry hungry hippos snakes and ladders oh, there's a spider-man board here well this is what's left of it not in the greatest shape so these toys might be a little worse for wear but i'm gonna dig all the way to the bottom just to make sure there's oh yeah there's a whole bunch of little people books those little fisher price cat oh there's comics hang on and a go box helmet yeah hungry hungry hippo in the box too that was a fun game well the comics are mainly archie and katie Keene. there's a wonder woman in there no 60s spider-man which is what you'd be hoping to find in here keep digging though whoa check this light fixture out is that ever cool very 1960s 70s pop art that is a neato piece <laughs> i like it this box appears to be mostly puzzles but the very bottom i see remember i found one of the uh afx cars there's another one this is the set for it make sure i get all the pieces out of this box and save them Nice little set right there. Came out of the very bottom, so maybe there's some other good stuff down here. Remote control boats. I've yet to come across the stack of sports cars I'm hoping for, or a guitar that matches that amplifier. Still having fun though. No, I don't. I don't see. What is this? victory map puzzle Ooh, a big box of puzzles okay another box the there we go ninja turtle van and hopefully i'll be able to figure out oh yeah there's the roof for it let's say you'll figure out if i can find the roof but there it is all these boxes probably have to be brought home and sorted because i'll figure out what what all the little parts are for also found this little fisher price uh, fuzzy pumper you put you know you put the little dude on top and you crank it up and the hair comes out and the beard comes out and you shave it who didn't have one of those when they were a kid let's see a bag of stuff i'm trying to get to the uh what i call the toy department which has been back in this area because it's been paying off pretty good but i'm i'm gonna work my way around the corner found this old stereo which is really nothing but there is an rca box on the bottom maybe there's records or something who knows i'm gonna work my way around and See if I can reconnect where I was, where that uh, antique cabinet was. This looks like a suit bag. See if the suit's still inside of it. Whoa! That's not a suit. This is, what's it say? Captain Rainbow. That is just pure awesomeness. <laughs> uh, apparently that's Captain Rainbow's outfit. I don't know what that's from, but that's pretty darn cool. Captain Rainbow. All right. Sort of a junk drawer. So they just took the whole drawer out. But I'm going to see what I can salvage out of here. Sprinkler head. Miniature Coke bottle. Yes. Giant thing of dust that just fell on me. No. <coughs> Skeleton keys. Yes. Antique bottle opener for dog's head Guinness beer. Yes. I'll see if, what I can pull out of here. Hopefully it'll be at least a few things worthwhile. Found what appears to be like a an antique, uh, no, I thought it was a deck chair at first, but I think it folds into a little uh, table. And maybe a crib side or something. Golf clubs. Haven't found the cues for the little pool. Oh no, the cues are right there. I lied, I found the cues. What do we have here? More toys. More 1980s mask toys. And Ghostbusters. And Ninja Turtles. And more. More and more and more toys. Well, I set that one aside. That goes in the keeper pile. My keeper pile is actually getting pretty big. Look at this. That's my keeper pile so far. It's a Navajo blanket here too. Sign covered. 
bag. Hopefully there's, we're definitely finding lots of cool old toys, which is right on my alley. Open up this bag and see what's in here. And it is, oh, it's a little old, uh, it looks like a stereo. Yep, that's what it is. One of those old little stereo systems. One way to get an idea when something was packed up, like these cups and so forth, is to look at the paper that they were packed in. Judging from those fashions, I'm gonna say 1990, somewhere around then, if it's dated, they're not always dated. Uh, copyright, trademark. Uh, darn them. Oh, yeah, look at that, 1990. I was bang on. I know because I was there and I probably looked like that. It's the, uh, this day number two. Um, I had to drive by in a different vehicle today. I'm not using this completely. <laughs> uh, it's my first day out in my old Mustang. I'm not gonna be using that completely uh, to clear all this out. But I figured since I was driving by, I may as well grab a few bags. I do have to go get my truck. Um, today, I wanna try and get um, the collectibles out, which I didn't have a chance to do the other day get the furniture moved out, really just try and get through the majority of this bin because it has to be done by tomorrow and I'm running out of time. So without further ado, I'm gonna start loading up the trunk with some collectibles and then uh, go grab my truck. Look at this mess of toys. I mean, it's a good mess, but it's a mess of toys. I will sort this out later on once I get that unit empty. I'm just gonna leave them in my garage for now. They're so dusty though. It's like an old cowboy coming down the trail and you pat yourself off on your shirt and you leave a dust version of yourself behind. That's what these bags and boxes are like. I'll be happy to get them out of the back of the vehicle. Car is back at the house, truck is here, and I'm gonna try and uh, get rid of some more of the garbage. It's too bad this antique uh, sitting chair would make a nice little, you know, smoking style side chair if it was reupholstered in nice leather, but uh, it's a little far gone. It's busted up and broken and cats have been at it. So off it goes, and uh, I've got a bit of broken furniture in here too. So I'm going to start uh, clearing out some more stuff to the dump today. And uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm getting a little bit worried about my time frame. I've only got really today and a bit of tomorrow to try and get rid of all this. Still a lot of stuff in here. The focus in here right now is kind of on cleaning. There's still some discoveries to be made though. I'm just uncovering this box right here. To see what's inside. And it looks like we've got Return of the Jedi card. And some ET cards. Look how dirty and gross this is. Yuck. Okay, well, let's open this up and see what's in here. It's Mark's tools, but it doesn't mean his tools. That looks like baby stuff. Yeah, it looks like lots of baby stuff. Maybe there's some other kids' toys in here. Oh, there's some tools underneath the baby stuff. Looks like kind of a catch-all. I have to go through that a little bit closer, see what else is in there. In this bag, we've got the, that's the GoBots. Um, this is like a carrying case. I recognize this from the 80s. Oh, there it is there. I don't think it has anything in it. No, but the, the stickers are all good though. So that's good. Another one of these little mini hockey sticks. Not signed. And then some childhood art. And I think it's about it for the collectibles in there. Get rid of that. With a lot of the garbage gone, I can actually walk around in here and it's looking a little less daunting. But I've been saving um, my next step for right about now. And that's all the stuff that I think can probably go to charity, like the stereo system and some of the cups and saucers and that. Um, I wanna do a charity run next. So I'm gonna load the truck up with everything I think can uh, be reused, but maybe not have great monetary value to myself in the truck, get that cleared out. And then the fun begins of getting all the rest of this moved out of here. First bag off to charity, here we go. Saving some of these drawers as well. When I feel I found the proper home for it, that's gotta go yeah, like that. Something, something like that. Maybe the drawers aren't in the exact right spot. 
That looks like it goes here. They keep kind of going around. Oh, it's a little bit warped. But that is the right drawer. I have to take it home and do a little finessing, but everything looks like it's gonna go together, so that unit should be complete. There, I'm back. Now to start loading up the sellable stuff. First thing in, antique dining room table. I was able to piece these pieces together. I think it's a little antique hall stand. You can see there's a hanger on the bottom there, so it probably was wall mounted at some point. Kind of cool. And the mirror is unbroken. The reason I bought this thing in the first place, the uh, writing desk, a drafter's table or angled desk. Needs a little bit of wood glue and a lot of cleaning, but it's all there. And I found the drawer for it. Mm, maybe that's not the drawer. Eh, it fits. I'll see. I've, I was keeping back all the miscellaneous drawers that were around just in case I found the one that was missing. That one will work in a pinch, but I've got a few other drawers there to try in it. So I'll get this guy loaded up. Finally decided to get this coffee table moved. I think what it was was a, a, like a kitchen table. Somebody cut down to a coffee table, which is kind of cool. There's a little bit of paperwork in the drawer. Oh, look, 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 look. If you're gonna find a hockey card, that's the one to find. If that dust comes off, that's in pretty decent shape. What year is this? Probably 1970, 69. 1969 Bobby Orr. That's a score and a half right there. Are there any other hockey cards in here? Uh, nope, but I'm gonna check and see if anything fell down the back. Nope. Hey, well, if I'm gonna find one hockey card, may as well be a Bobby Orr. I am back at the dump again, making what is, I don't know, my fifth or sixth run. So far, I've invested about $200 in uh, garbage removal. That's the unfortunate thing. Sometimes you just can't help but throw some of these things out. <laughs> Made it home. Got to go back tomorrow to get the last load of garbage out of the unit and then get my deposit back. But this is the variety of stuff that I brought back thinking it was cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start sorting and I'm actually excited to sort through some of the toys in that. Uh, I'm going to start sorting and then start grouping things basically into transformers and uh, tra uh, <laughs> GoBots and GI Joe and whatever else get them all in their uh, respectful categories and then see what I've got. Well, I know from your perspective at home, probably doesn't look like a lot has happened. And this probably looks like a really big mess, mainly because it is, but I've been sorting Ninja Turtles, G.I. Joe, superpowers, um, He-Man stuff, mask, which there wasn't as much of as I would, I would hope, but there was still some, uh, Star Wars, GoBots, and miscellaneous accessories. Oh, and Ghostbusters stuff there. I did find the doors for the Ghostbuster car and the uh, little uh, section, the chair that goes on the roof there. Words are hard right now. But uh, I had, oh man, I was looking through the cards and I go, oh my goodness, look, there's some old baseball cards. And I got all excited. And then I thought, okay, well, wait a minute. These can't be real. Flip it over. Nope. Eddie Plank. Yep. So. It's a uh, replica. It's still cool though. Um, I'm gonna now basically uh, start putting pieces back together. Would it, whatever kid had this stuff was uh, not a fan of keeping his toys together. So everything is mismatched or slightly taken apart. Luckily, I think that can all be mended if I take my time and put all the arms and heads and legs on the proper people. Like there's his leg. I just have to assemble everything. Hopefully I can get it all back together again. I'll try my best and uh, sort everything into buckets. I'm gonna actually reuse the bins that came out of the storage unit. I just washed them off. They're drying over there right now. And I rinsed off a few of the toys too, like the uh, uh, Ninja Turtle Volkswagen bus. So I'm gonna start assembling things here and I'll show you, I guess, my top finds from today. Well, I've pieced together what I could with the He-Man stuff. Unfortunately, these have little elastic bands that will need to be replaced before He-Man and Skeletor get put back together again. But there are some that are assembled. I'll put this all together as a lot in one of the buckets and send it off to auction. It nearly had a heart attack going through some of this stuff and thought I'd found some really rare baseball cards. But of course, you know, the minute you see an Onus Wagner 
card like that, you know you're dealing with a replica, and that's what they are. They're replicas, probably from the 1980s. And disappointingly, this Bobby Orr card, which isn't particularly rare, I looked at it closer and look, it says, Outstanding Player Card Promo. The original didn't say that. If you look at the very top, it says Replica Cards 1991. So unfortunately, that wasn't the great card that I thought it was going to be, but I did get the dust off of it. Would have been a good find. Either way, these are neat cards, and I'll put them through the auction um, as replicas as they are. But, um, you know, if you wanted to have a, you know, <laughs> impress your friends and make them think you've got a original Onus Wagner card, um, you could. So I'm going to get these guys uh, sorted, ready, and bagged up and ready to go. I've been trying to find all the little accessories that go with these things. It's taking forever. Uh, most of Jabba's playset. I'm putting them all back in their box that they were meant to be in when he was obviously still a kid. We've got all these Star Wars figures and everything's gonna go up for auction, no reserve. So I guess I really won't know how I'm going to do until, until auction day, but I feel, um, I feel like we're gonna do all right on this batch. Well, it's the end of the day and I've got stuff pretty much piled up uh, in their boxes. So the box of assorted Star Wars, the box of uh, Ninja Turtles, and the box of G.I. Joe and Transformers. And yes, I'm putting a lot of this stuff out by the lot. I will be separating out a couple of the better Transformers, but most of the stuff is going by the box full. I am expecting to make probably around, even after, because it was $110 to buy the unit, um, plus $200 for garbage disposal, so we're in for 300 bucks roughly, plus my time. Um, but I think that there's probably about, <laughs> I'm not kidding, probably only like $2,500 profit out of this unit. Maybe a little bit better even. Some of these toys can go crazy if people get bidding on them, especially Star Wars and that. They could go, you know, a box even like that, even though it's not a huge box, it's got some good stuff in it. A lot of figures could go for, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars all on its own on a good day. I don't know what stuff's going to go for, but I would expect $2,300 to $2,500 profit. Not bad for a day's work. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the adventure. Uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, I'm going to go to bed because it's late <laughs> and I'm tired and that was a long day. We'll see you guys soon and oh, subscribe if you haven't already. We go on adventures like this every so often and uh, we have kind of a neat channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should do that. Anyway guys, we'll see you soon and bye for now.